Hello everybody and welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today we have the third and final game of the series versus the Minnesota Twins. Yesterday we uh, lost a nail biter due to a couple of bad decisions by the manager, which is me. Um, we had a couple runners thrown out trying to advance and uh, a uh, strike them out, throw them out. Uh, hit and run <laughs> attempt. So I kind of blew it for the team on that one. Uh, so today we're hoping to end on a good note before we head home and face the uh, Toronto Blue Jays, who are in first place right now. So uh, today's game is uh, our ace, Jack Morris, who's 2-1, and one, versus the Twins, Steve Luber. And I'll give you some more good information on Luber uh, later in the game. So, uh, for now, let's get started. That's what she said. And uh, while the game's loading up, I just want to say uh, thanks to everyone who's uh, continuing to follow uh, game by game. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm looking at the uh, statistics for my YouTube, and it shows that uh, it's basically 50-50. 50% of my um, views are from subscribers, and the other 50% are from people who just continue to follow along. So please just click that little button and subscribe. And uh, in the description below, you'll see all the other Brainiac Baseball um, social media sites. So please just uh, click and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Uh, so here we are. We have uh, Jack Morris going today. His last start was his worst uh, of the three starts this year. He did have 10 Ks in a game earlier this season. You can see that we are not a strikeout team, um, but we do have Jack and he seems to be doing good. Uh, we also have all of our bullpen available today. So here's a lineup that I've chosen for uh, Steve Luber, who's a righty. Um, basically got all the good lefties in there. Uh, I'm gonna permanently bench uh, Tom Brookins. Uh, for the veteran Richie Hebner. Uh, I really like Tom Brookins. He's one of my favorite uh, players on the Tigers, but um, you got to go with the players who are getting it done. And uh, although Hebner's only got eight hits, six of them are extra base hits. So uh, you can't argue with the results. And also, um, I've pulled John Walkenfuss out of the DH spot and put in Rick Peters, who has played limited duty, but he is producing, and he has great speed. So uh, that's where we're going to go uh, for the next few games, especially heading into uh, the big first place uh, series against Toronto. SpongeBob, Let's get started. Basically the same lineup for uh, the Twins, with the exception of uh, Willie Norwood, who's in center this game. Uh, Adams is in right, who's really poor defensively, and everybody else is the same. So, here we are against Steve Luber with uh, Whitaker leading off. Oh, Whitaker strikes out to start the game, which is what he did last game. So, uh, Steve Luber, an interesting guy. He was a 13-round draft pick in 1967 and basically stayed in the Twins organization for 10 years uh, when he was finally uh, let go and um, bounced around a bit, finally settling in uh, Baltimore for his last season, which was in 1981. So, <clears throat> as the Tigers go down 1-2-3 there with Jack um, facing off against Siebert. So, uh, you know, Luber had 138 career wins in the minor leagues. More strikes out uh, Siebert there. So he was a career minor leaguer, um, and I guess he was a um, big, uh, a, a good, a, a good um, a team player because uh, he really spent a lot of time uh, in the minors, and also he played a little while in the Venezuelan leagues. And then he became a career uh, coach in the majors. So, um, <clears throat> Hoskin Powell doubled, and then 
Uh, Danny Goodwin singled, knocking in Powell, but it was thrown out going for an extra base, and that's the fourth outfield assist for Stegman. So, pretty solid out there in the center. <gasps> oh, great Odin Raven! And Weininger strikes out. So we're down one nothing here early. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's um, playing at the Metropolitan, but we are really struggling to get runs against this team. Parrish uh, leads off with a base hit, bringing up Steve Kemp. And there's a base hit for Kemp. Parrish goes to third, and we uh, have first and third with none out. And this is exactly why we have Hebner in the game for these clutch situations. But he grounds out to second as a hit and run that will tie the game up. And uh, Kemp goes to second. So Champ Summers had a couple games off in a row there. Ooh, wild well pitch, well pitch moving Kemp up. We did face two lefties in a row, so uh, Summers has been sitting out. Oof, and he strikes out there with uh, Kemp at third. And that brings up Stegman. He goes down swinging too. So the game's all tied heading into the bottom of the second. Dave Engel to the plate. And he shoots it through the right side. Uh, Roy Smalley is up. And I'm going to just play regular defense against him as he flies out the center. And now uh, Mike Cubbage. Cubbage goes down swinging. That's three Ks for Morris. Glenn Adams to the plate. Go ahead. Oof. Make my day. Angle. The DH tried to steal and Parrish threw him out pretty easily there. So our number nine hitter will lead off the third. Rick Peters, who takes a walk. Um, everybody in the park knows we're going to steal with Peters. Just what do you think you're doing? Weiniger does have a great arm, but Peters beats him. And we'll take uh, the stolen base. That's his second of the year. You got like three feet of air that time. Whitaker grounds to second, moving Peters to third. Now we have the infield in, and I'm going to try to get a sack fly. Mm, that's not going to get it done. And then do that. So that's a wasted at bat. JT to the plate, and he's grounded out to second, so... Nothing doing there, unfortunately. Let's see if we can't uh, keep Morris's strikeouts going. Oof, it was an 0-2 count, but he flew out to center field. And that brings up the number nine hitter, Willie Norwood. Norwood shoots it through the left side for a base hit. It's two for three on the season. Another attempt. But Parrish just throws him out easily. Defensively. Oof, it's 41%. For uh, the, his caught stealing percentage, it's pretty good. That was a different era, though. Everyone was stealing bases in the uh, 80s. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, that was the third out there with Siebert grounding to second base. And uh, now we have Parrish leading off. He got a base hit his first time up. Grounding out to short. Steve Kemp. Oof. Thought that was going to get through, but he grounds out to second. And uh, Hebner to the plate. And Hebner. Hebner, I thought, was the offensive uh, advantage, but he's batting right at the Mendoza line, batting 200 there. I find your lack of faith is so, <clears throat> bottom of the fourth for Jack. Facing off against 
Haas Kampal pops up on the infield. Bringing up Danny Goodwin. Goodwin singles up the center there to Stegman for a base hit. Which Weiniger to the plate? Could that be two? Yes. Settle down, Beva. Moore's pitching pretty well here through four. We can't get anything going offensively, though. And the eight hitter Stegman grinding out to first. And Rick Peters. Oof. Rounding out to second there. Bottom of the fifth game is moving along. Oh, that ball is gone. It's uh, home runs in consecutive games for Angle. And Minnesota takes the lead. He crushed it. 441 feet. Smaller grounds out to second. Cubbage has a base hit to left. Actually, it's a double. As it went to the wall. I'm going to pull the outfield in and see if we can't prevent that run from scoring on a base hit. But uh, Morris walks Adams. And uh, I'm going to guard the line, so maybe we can turn two here again. Uh, Morris strikes out the number nine hitter. And we're back to Kurt Siebert. Siebert grounds out to Trammell. Alright, only two hits against this guy. This guy's a nobody. Career minor league pitcher. He can't get anything going. My jokes are bad. Whitaker grounds out to first. Here's Trammell. Shoots the ball up the middle for a base hit. Do I want to go for two? No. Nope, not going to risk it. Down one. I'm going to hope one of these three guys can come through. Thompson, I didn't realize. It's just not performing at all. Lazy fly ball to left field. And uh, it brings up Parrish, try to get it done, but he strikes out. This is terrible. Um, Alright, so this is the bottom of the sixth, and uh, Morris is at 79 pitches, so he's been somewhat efficient. Infield pop up to for Paula there. Danny Goodwin, two for two against Morris. He also pops up on the infield. And uh, Butch Weiniger comes to the plate. Base hit up the middle. Weiniger was the catcher for Dave Rigetti's no-hitter in, in New York for the Yankees. Angles two for two with that home run that gave him the, the uh, lead in the fifth. Now he's three for three. Why does this keep happening to me? Morris giving up a lot of hits this, this game. Smalley lines out to left. Okay, we're running out of time. Down to uh, nine outs. And we've generated nothing. Hebner walks, so we get a base runner here. Let's try and hit and run. Do something different. There we go. Oh no, it's a line drive to two outs. Oh uh, nope. I thought he was gonna throw him back out at first. Stegman takes one of the ribs. 
given us our uh, first opportunity in a while here. But unfortunately, it's a number nine hitter. He also walks, so now we have bases loaded opportunity for Whitaker. Base hit ought to give us the lead. Oh, no. Uh, they take out Luber and bring in Paul Boris, who is a righty. I guess it doesn't make sense. But he's been very bad early on, so let's see what happens. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Didn't even swing at it. So, that was a missed opportunity. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave Morris in there. He's not even at 100 pitches yet, so. That was a lazy fly ball to left. Bring up Glenn Adams. He walks Adams. Um, so we're at 101 pitches. Norwood goes down on strikes. That's his fifth K. And uh, now we're facing the top of the lineup with Siebert. And he lines out to Trammell. Okay, so uh, Trammell leading off. Infield pop up. And one down in the eighth. Looking for a spark from anybody. Jesus, come on. Watch your profanity. We should be crushing this team. Parish grounding off the third. Oh, there's an error Ryan. by Cubbage. No and, um, hmm. It's too early. I, f I mean, I would consider pulling him for a pinch runner. But there's two outs. I'm not worried about a double play, I guess. Yeah, it didn't matter anyway. This Kemp grounds out. So, bottom of the eighth. Basically got three lefties coming up here. So we're going to keep Morris on a short leash. Oh. Yep. Alright. Well, if he doesn't turn two here, then we got to take him out. Oh, he strikes him out. That's that's good. All right, so we're gonna give him a go. Strikes out um, Weiniger there. So two down. He's reaching back and oh, he strikes out the side. That's amazing. Battle down, Beaver. So uh, we need to. We need to get something going here. And bring in Verhoeven, who got the save in yesterday's game. Hebner uh, grounds out to second. Champ Summers is up. Summers walks. We're going to pull Summers out. And uh, bring in Brookings, who... Has the highest speed on the team, 94. Sweet mother of God, what is the hold up? And we're gonna sacrifice Bunt with Stegman. Getting Brookins in the scoring position? Yes. So it's down to Peters. Versus lefties this year. Nobody that I trust, so I guess we have to go with Peters with a game on the line. They walk him. So, uh, first and second, and now it's up to Whitaker, who I feel pretty good about in this spot. Winning run, uh, the lead run is on first. Let's see what happens. Ooh, well, pitch! Just a bit outside. Okay, I, I don't know if they're just doing this to to tease me because this sometimes happens where we'll get him in a scoring position. Okay, there we go. So he intentionally walks Whitaker for the bases loaded. And now we have Trammell. 
So, um, let's give Trammel an opportunity, and he pops out, and that's going to be the end of the game. Man, what a disappointing series there, as we lose 2-1 to one to really a terrible team. All really low-scoring games, all opportunities for us to um, take the win, but it just wasn't meant to be. So, thanks everybody for tuning in, and uh, that'll conclude the series with the Twins. We're going to be heading back home and facing the Blue Jays, who are in first place. Here's a box score for you. Not a lot to see here, as Morris gets the complete game. Um, go ahead and pause it if you want to take a, a good long look at it. Um, thanks again for, for tuning in. Um, please like and subscribe, and uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.